Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, thank you very much for checking in. I'm going to do another French fly from uh, Jean-Paul Pequenot's book here. Um, and this is my copy of the book. I'm going to open it up to the fly I'm going to do, which is Ruse Du. Um, and you can see here he does uh, sizes 10 and 12, uh, black tying silk half, and then orange half, and a black rooster hackle. So I'm, I'm using kimono uh, for the tying silk black and tire for the orange. And uh, I have a uh, low grade Metz dyed black uh, cape. And the hook uh, gap size for the hackle uh, seems to be large based on the, the drawings and the uh, picture of the fly on the, on the front. So at least one and a half, close to two times the, the hook gap here. This is a wet fly hook, uh, it is a wet fly. Uh, so uh, starting the uh, black silk there, uh, wrapping a little bit back, a little shy of the midpoint, where I'm gonna trap in the orange silk there. Wrapping back to about the halfway point, and uh, then I'm gonna wrap the uh, orange silk back to the uh, end of the, the bend of the uh, end of the shank of the hook, kind of in line with where the barb uh, is. I've I've mashed it down, but you can sort of still see it there a little bit. And uh, heading back to that point, and then forward back to the waiting black silk. trapping it in and uh, I'm doing these turns uh, trapping the orange silk in consecutively keeping the body as level as possible. These are touching turns and I'm um, covering up that waist portion of the orange silk there. The name of the fly uh, implies red but uh, According to Jean-Paul Pequeno, most people tie the uh, colored section in the back half with uh, orange. There's a salmon fly version that uses uh, wools, so, um, you know, black and orange or black and red wool for the bodies. I'm having a little trouble with this uh, stem piece of the, uh, the hackle. Uh, I suggest you leave it longer so you can, you can get it than I did. And uh, I'm gonna wrap, I think I do about two turns here. Uh, looks like there's one, and two, yeah, and then trap it down. So it's not a, doesn't seem to be from the pictures uh, to be a heavy, heavily hackled fly. It is a wet fly, so I think too much rooster hackle. You know, it's gonna, bring it more to the dry uh, zone there. Um, you do want it to uh, get down in the film. So just doing a whip finish here. And I'm gonna break that off. Uh, sorry, cut that off. And then break off the uh, excess stem there. There's one weird wonky fiber there that I see now. Not really sure. Somehow, back up top half of it's like bent forward. Uh, I didn't notice it so much at, at this time, but I, I did remove it before uh, taking a picture of the fly here uh, as a, the finished fly. And there you go. Thank you so much and take care. Bye.